Hello friends, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can insert a code snippet in Microsoft Word while preserving its formatting, syntax highlighting along with its line number. These are the different samples of code that I have inserted in Microsoft Word. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can get this beautiful code snippet. So the process of inserting this code snippet is divided into two parts. First part is copying the code along with its syntax highlighting, formatting and line number. If you are using Visual Studio or Eclipse, then you can directly copy the code and then paste it here. So it will be copied along with formattings. If you are using a different ID or code editor, then you can copy the code snippet and paste it in Microsoft Word to see whether it is able to copy code with its formatting. If your editor doesn't support copying code with formatting, then you can use Use Notepad++. It is an open source, free and light software. It provides you a way by which you can copy the code with, with syntax highlighting. So you can set the syntax highlighting by choosing the appropriate language and then you can select the code and then right click and click on plugin commands and then you have option to copy the text along with syntax highlighting. If you don't want to install Notepad++ or if your editor doesn't support this feature then you can always go online and this website is very useful that is highlight.me and here you can paste your code and then select the language it provides tons of different language. My code is in python so I will just select python 3 and it has an option to style code in numerous ways so you can just try some of these things i like the default one so for this example i just go with the default one and it also has an option to include line number or not so if you want to include line number just check the box against line number and now this is how your code will appear you just have to select the code and copy and paste it in microsoft word so the first part is over that is selecting code with syntax highlighting and other formattings Second thing is inserting a code in Microsoft Word. If you want to preserve formatting and syntax highlighting, then there are two different ways. First way is a normal way, which I generally don't prefer. So in this way, what you have to do, you just have to copy the code along with syntax highlighting as shown in method one, and then just paste it here. It looks very, very good, except for these initial problems like tabs. I have to adjust tabs at some place and this squiggly lines, which says spelling error. You can selectively add this incorrect spelling to a dictionary, or you can suppress the spelling error a spell check for the selected text so to do that what you have to do you have to select the code area for which you have to disable spell check and then go to the review tab and here just click or arrow below language and click on set proofing language to disable spell check you just have to check the box which says do not check spelling or grammar and click on ok so for the selected text spell check and grammar will be disabled the disadvantage of using this method is sometimes microsoft word formatting can affect the formatting of your code so it is better to keep the code separate with the rest of the document that is the way which is the preferred way you don't have to copy the code and paste it in the main document better way is go to the insert tab and here click on the object go to the bottom and click on open document text and then click ok so this will open a new word document and here you can paste all your codes so i'll just paste all my codes so i'll adjust the tabs here and now don't worry about the spell check error because spell check will only appear here but once you close this document all the code that is pasted here will come in the original document so it will come like this this is the, the code that i have inserted in other document and if you want to edit this code you can double click here and then edit the code or modify the code here this method separates the word document with your code so that code and formatting of the rest of the word document doesn't mess up so that's all in this video if this video really helped you please let me know by clicking the like button and if you want to see more such videos on microsoft word like this then please consider subscribing to my channel and pressing the bell notification icon